so today uh, our topic is uh, verification of superposition theorem in matlab simulink so superposition theorem states that a circuit with multiple voltage and current sources is equal to the sum of simplified circuits using just one of the sources so this is the statement of superposition theorem so for example a circuit composed of two voltage sources will be equal to the sum of two circuits which are simplified circuits each one using one of the sources and having the other removed so methodology to simplify a circuit using the superposition theorem so we have some steps must be followed so in the first step so we have to identify all current and voltage sources in the circuit so after identifying the current and voltage sources in the circuit we have to create multiple versions of the circuit every version containing just one of the sources so the other sources must be removed using the following rule voltage sources must be replaced with a short circuit and current sources just removed from the circuit so that means open circuit after doing this process we have to find the currents and voltages as required now sum the sum of now sum the results obtained in all circuits so what we get what the current in the individual uh, simplified circuits or what the voltage we getting in the simplified circuits we will get in the same as actual circuits now we will uh, verify this superposition theorem in matlab simulink now we will see how to simulate the superposition theorem in uh, matlab simulink so first of all uh, we have to uh, design the actual circuit so in this uh, simulation we will take two voltage sources circuit so uh, to design this so we need uh, two voltage sources and some uh, resistive elements and a voltage as current measurement so now we will uh, take all the Uh, resistive elements here so we have taken uh, four uh, resistive elements and we are taking the uh, dc voltage source so we need two voltage two voltage uh, sources which is uh, dc now we will uh, give the parameters to the branches resistive elements 2 uh, ohms 4 ohms and 2 uh, ohms and 6 ohms okay 
just uh, once again uh, check whether we have given a uh, right parameters or not so now give voltage sources uh, one voltage source we are giving 5 volts and another voltage we are giving around uh, 10 volts Now connect all the circuit, all the branches and make into a closed path. So in order to uh, measure the current in the circuit we need some current measurement device so we are taking current measurement here and we are placing across the uh, shunt branch and uh, connecting to the main circuit so we in order to see the current value we need a uh, display in it so connect to the current measurement so we will get the current value in the display element and now in order to get the value of uh, voltage and current value we need some power GUA so now uh, run the simulink so we got the current value inside the circuit is around I is equal to 0.5 91 amperes so we got around uh, 0 0.9091 amperes So now uh, we divide this actual circuit into two simplified circuits. So these two simplified circuits are uh, made by removing the voltage sources. So we will remove one voltage source for one simplified circuit and another voltage source to the another circuit. So now we have two simplified circuits here. So just copy and paste it here. So now there are uh, two simplified circuits here. So now here we remove one voltage source to the one simplified circuit and another voltage source to the second simplified circuit. So in the first simplified circuit we remove the 5 voltage source. Uh, circuit element and now here 10 volts in the second simplified circuit so this one naming as circuit 1 and this one as a circuit 
टू सो अकॉर्डिंग टू डेफिनेशन सो वी हैव टू गेट द सेम वैल्यू ऑफ करंट इन एक्चुअल सर्क्यूट uh by adding these two simplified circuits so we are now adding the currents of these two simplified circuits to attain the same current value what we got in the actual circuit so now adding the currents in the circuit 1 and the current value in the circuit 2 we have to get the same current value of actual circuit so now run the circuit so you can observe that we got same value of actual circuit even we uh, simplify the circuit by making into two simplified circuits so the same we got i is equal to 0.9091 amperes and superposition theorem is verified in matlab simulink Thank you